Martin's not this. Welcome back. Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. Oh. Splendid. You've done well, my boy. <sighs> Not again. What's the matter? You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. Not unlike you and your father when you were little. Hmm. You think so? Awesome. Dude! Oh, this is gonna be a party in my mouth. I dare say I can recreate this. Too hot to move. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride? But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? are perilous at night. Let us wait for morning. We'll be fine. Let's keep going. Hmm. Peril is our middle name then, eh? Don't say I didn't warn you.
Welcome. Take care now. The finest room in the house is available for your immediate comfort. Isn't this kind of, you know, vain? No one else is taking photos. What am I supposed to do? Nice. Cut. All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. Fine by me. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident will spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish, drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way into the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? 
I don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you have not with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. Not saying it's easy, but I envy the hunters. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere. Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh... Sup? Sup? Take a look at our wares. Hey, come again. Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Freya. Oh. Blessed stars of life and light. Deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now. But trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle! Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Lady Luna Freya, I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. 
Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feels good morning to you. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Come again. I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust. Tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguy. Makes you wonder what it's like down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. Perhaps you should have your car looked at. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguy. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh... You don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah. I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. 
I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really ins- Yeah, no. Hello? Wow. That worked. I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience- You're leaving? I drop you. That one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go. Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quickly! Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. <sighs> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear.
No room for error here. <clears throat> no time to chill either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. You want to talk? So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. <sighs> sick of this endless walking. And I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, I, I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? Isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here.
Hey! I'm here! you want quit screwed with my head you gotta be kidding me <laughs>
Still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one!
High Commander Ravis Oxlare issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we dispel. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. now the eye of the storm <sighs> when the covenant is forged the oracle and ring shall await their king at the walls of water stray not from the path <sighs> she's a messenger a spirit faithful to the oracle oh uh, for real <laughs> we're going beyond real now pal Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. So my dad's guarding it? Yes. 
I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of a crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. Take a look at our wares. Hey, come again. We're here. <sighs> Good to see y'all. Something wrong? Well, word just came in that there's a chocobo that's ailing out there. Would y'all mind? Sure, no problem. For a sick chocobo, huh? It might be prudent to take some medication along, just in case. Yeah, best load up. Sounds like a plan.
little chilly. Yeah. Mean to do that? First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the string of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are. you're here. My car is stuck. Oh, thank goodness you're here. My car is stuck. The young prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh! I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah. Luna for. Luna. It is heartening to see the future king. And the Oracle enjoys such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the King. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true King's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archeon. The Oracle's call awakens the gods. That their blessings find the king. You alright? What did she say? Ah, uh, that Luna's awakening the sex. Again! Ah! the wicked. No one missing that! Nice. Nothing else, no one! Show time! Uh huh! They're on the same page! Yeah! Yeah! You've grown stronger. Must be thanks to my balanced diet. The one that excludes vegetables. Yep, that's the one.